Right guys, so just a bit of an update on the build for Peter. Um, obviously it's it's practically all put together. The road wheels aren't on and there's like um, some side skirts that uh, I haven't put on the side of the vehicle. The top and bottom aren't glued together either. You, you can um, construct everything on top and uh, and you know just then put it put it on the bottom part so that's that's pretty good no issues with uh, putting this kit together um, one frustrating thing though was that there was um, a mold line around a lot of the stuff so there was very little flash but there was this mold line that was a bit irritating because if you sanded it it seemed to it just did something weird it didn't so much sand down as it kind of spread out um, and sometimes with mould lines you could sand them and the sanding motion will um, not only reduce it but also kind of almost slices it off the, the plastic whereas with this stuff it just seemed to spread um, and you're better using um, the side of a knife to, to scrape it off <clears throat> so <clears throat> I've undercoated it um, Games Workshop's uh, Chaos Black I was asking people about the colour for this and because the trumpeter call out doesn't give the Vallejo <coughs> paint but um, interestingly they call the green that this is the vehicle was finished in field grey. Games Workshop do do <coughs> a German field grey. Now if you looked, oh sorry if you notice on the box art um, it was like a green colour, well the German field grey uh, which is um, Vallejo's 830 is a green so I'm wondering if they could have just uh, put 830 on there and you would have been sorted for your um, Vallejo paint anyway that's the paint I'm going to use um, I was thinking of uh, airbrushing but I think I will just crack on and um, get my hair to stick out and, um, and get this painted so next time you see this, either we have its first coat of um, paint on or it might even be completed, I don't know. Uh, so I will see you in a bit. So over 12 months ago the um, Peter Person appreciation build was announced by Brett G and I have at last completed the build. Um, I mentioned in the intro video that uh, the first build that I chose uh, basically defeated me and then I was trying to get another build to obviously complete for this group build and uh, finally I've managed it but before I show you the end result I just um, want to show you a couple of things about this uh, box art now I don't think uh, Trumpeter really pushed the boat out when it comes to box art for their 170 second scale kits or well, certainly not um, during this period. Um, <clears throat> I've been looking at the, uh, the the build that's on on the top of the box, and I have to confess, I don't think this has been painted. I, I think this is the actual colour of the plastic, and all the person's done is he's done a wash of um, mud over um, over the vehicle. The other thing is, um, I'm pretty sure that um, us modellers could be a builders for trumpeter and produce a better result than this because if you look carefully and I'll try and zoom in on it do you see that there there's actually a part missing which I'll try and show you on on the build I've completed there should be a piece that fills that in you get you can see a rectangular slot at the top but all that which is looks hollow there's a there's a piece of plastic that goes across the front of that and it looks like it's missing on the other side as well so he wasn't even bothered to build it completely either so now I've pointed out those two things um, let me just get my build and we'll have a look at it together so here she is guys um, as I say she's um, completed now just finished it about 10 minutes ago there was a couple of items that weren't um, I realized weren't on the build and so I um, quickly uh, put those on um, I think I showed you the vehicle all sprayed black ready for the paint and I was right the the German field grey I think it's um, Vallejo's um, 830 
let me just see if I can find that for you. Yeah, German Field Grey um, 830 was the green that I used. What I did with this was uh, once I'd put all the, the colour on, the green on, I then gave it a, a coat of um, clear floor varnish. Then I put the decals on. Then I sealed the decals in with uh, clear again, just over those. And then I gave this a, a sludge wash of um, like a black pastel that's been um, uh, just scraped to get the dust um, in some water and a bit of um, washing up liquid. Mix that up and then I, I put that all over the vehicle because I remembered that um, when when you do that it darkens everything so the the green actually becomes darker so even though you wipe once it, the sludge wash is dried, or even though you wipe it off um, and leave it within the recesses, it's darkened everything, so it gave it a, a better look, um, more like um, the vehicles that you see on um, on the internet. There was this was a great little build. It really was um, went together really well. No real fit issues, just a bit of clean up around some of the. Um, some of the parts, as I mentioned before, there's a bit of a seam line that goes around everything. Um, but, you know, the only problem I had with this is the rubber band tracks. They they want you to um, super glue them together. And I've got to be honest with you, I didn't even attempt it. Uh, because I thought that the tracks were far too short um, to fit around the um, idler sprocket and the um, drive sprocket. And so what I did was... Um, I cheated a little. Um, I'm not going to tell you how I cheated. Uh, let's just say that the track <laughs> doesn't actually um, do a complete um, around the, 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 the wheels. Um, it is actually separate. There's, there's a gap. But because you've got the, um, the side skirt there just by the drive sprocket, you can. this is the kind of thing you can use to your advantage to give the impression that it's got a, a full set of track going all the way around when really it hasn't. So I didn't, the only weathering I did on this was I um, used some um, um, earth pigments um, with some flat earth from Vallejo and some gloss varnish and just mixed all that together and then I, I threw that on the tracks and on the road wheels just to give, um, give some impression of uh, dirt and grime. As I say, the, the sludge wash did the rest for me over the top. I didn't even um, do a dry brush. I, what I tend to what I tend to do is do a dry brush of the um, the base colour again um, over the top of the vehicle just to highlight some of the areas. But I, I didn't even do that on this one. I felt that it looked it looked fine the way uh, it, the way it was. Um, the tracks were originally painted in sorry initially painted in the. MIG-034 which is Rust Tracks uh, which is my go-to colour for tracks these days and then as I say I added the earth pigment and paint over the top tried to do a bit of rusting on the rear exhaust that you see there and even put a um, bit of um, you know the uh, q-tip um, because I'd used it to wipe up the sludge wash it was kind of blackened and so I, I tried to use that to give the impression of um, a belch of smoke coming out of the end of the exhaust but uh, I've got to be honest this was a really enjoyable build um, and it didn't really give me any issues and I just um, really tough with it so there you go Peter I have actually managed mate to um, complete my build uh, in honor of yourself um, and uh, I hope you like it as well mate anyway guys that's it for this one um, I can chalk this one up and move on to something else I've got the 48 hour group build to start next Friday um, at 8 o'clock which as you know is going to be the Matchbox Wesp so I'm looking forward to that so yeah that's it thanks uh, ever so much for watching and uh, I hope uh, you have a great weekend and you get some build time and I'll catch up with you soon